I think there's a clear and present danger and it's staring us right in the face. Quantum computers aren't just smaller, faster computers that can do more. They operate off completely different fundamental physics systems. Quantum computing enables us to think about and understand Mother Nature herself, how she operates every molecule in the world. Of course, with, with any new type of technology, uh, it can be used as a force for good, and it can also be used for a force for not so good. My generation was asleep at the wheel in the 90s. The combination of the internet revolution and what's happened with mobile telephony, we gave up, there were no controls. But this is a far, far bigger issue that we're facing today. This is not a, a strange artificial technology that will be in outer space. Really, it has the potential to really impact our lives in a very direct way. We'll build quantum computers to solve chemistry and materials problems. People will invent new materials that everyone will use. You know, that could, that could make a big impact on humanity. The ethical challenges of quantum, I don't think the technology itself is understood well enough for us to make very rigid guidelines on what that should look like. And that's why you see the discourse on quantum computing ethics um, that's starting to take form today. We have to just make sure to cast a really wide, diverse net to start to help you know, make quantum computing look like the world does, which is rich and diverse and is not just, you know, a bunch of white folks in Silicon Valley. It's not a question of is quantum computing going to happen, it's a question of when. So we need to therefore make sure we are addressing it fully at this point now. What are the implications of a quantum computing society? Shouldn't we today be anticipating those issues as opposed to being asleep at the wheel again?